Hey yo, this is Sam Ant and Oh God. Make sure you go check out our podcast, the Hip Hop Uncensored Podcast on radio.com you've seen us on youtube over 800,000 subscribers strong now if you want to listen to your brothers raw real uncut and most importantly in full go check us out on radio.com we bring you the latest news on all things hip-hop sports relationships politics you name it we cover it the most dangerous podcast out to date the hip-hop uncensored podcast check us out four days a week on the radio.com app let's go please don't forget to subscribe to the podcast you can get all future you know um podcasts i'm just reading this here sam man and i'm just a little bit update on kodak black real quick um now they're saying according to celebrity news site boss up kodak black is set to plead guilty to federal weapons charges when he appears in court next week now they're saying the site reports that kodak will admit um during what is known as a change of plea hearing that he lied to illegally purchase guns. Now, Kodak's sudden change of plea indicates that a possible deal has been struck, but it's unclear at the moment. Now, he does face a maximum of 10 years in prison um, for this particular one. Now, we talked about this story when this happened, when I think he bought a gun and he used his real name, but he was a felon or something like that. So I'm just going to plead guilty. Looks like he made a deal. You know, so that's one case down. So I know he has about one, maybe two other cases that he has to fight, but I know he has a sexual assault case that he's going to have to deal with real soon. Um, Thoughts on this, Sam, man? Kodak pleading guilty to uh, federal weapons charges. It looks like Kodak has a very intelligent legal team around him, unlike some other people in high price um, yeah. celebrities we see. I, uh, R. Kelly, which is a fucking mess. I don't know if you've seen the recent thing on that. Nah. Oh, my Lord. But um, <laughs> we all know he had a lot going on. We all He had multiple cases that he had to take care of. This gun situation was going to be a pain in his ass if he tried to fight and plead innocent and all that. So the deal was probably the smartest thing to do. Right. He's yeah. going and, and he's been very vocal about fighting the sexual assault case head on and taking and putting all his energy into that. So it's kind of like he's taking just the L on mm -hmm. whatever else he might have put himself in the situations he put himself in, taking responsibility and accountability maybe for those. Like we've been talking about with young Kodak and fighting the sexual assault case head on. Um, we both hoped and prayed that he was innocent of that. Not hoped and prayed on no fanship, but just as a young man. And, and not putting any um, negative connotation mm -hmm. on the female either, because if she was sexually assaulted, he needs to sit his ass in jail. But right. if she, in fact, was um, fabricating the truth, justice needs to be served there as well. So if you're innocent, take that, fight it all the way through. Let karma and justice serve itself out and you take your L's on the stuff that you hold yourself accountable for. Facts. I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very well put, man. So, you know, again handling those situations one by one and the big one is that sexual assault case he's coming up i think it's september or october so mm -hmm. you know wish him the best on that the real dope rapper down there out of south florida man but yeah man another episode of the hip-hop uncensored podcast sam and today man it's been powerful man you know we want um you know take the weekend off and um you know probably not because you probably might do something saturday you know what yeah, i'm saying split no screen mm -hmm. and whatnot but um yeah man if you got any if you don't have anything else um you know what? We can wait for tomorrow. I got this little uh, six nine join. I seen oh, this yeah, wild sure. thing, ahead. but um, yeah, fuck it. We'll do it tonight. So Anthony Harv Ellison is accused of carrying out the kidnapping of six nine. We remember the kidnap we talked mm -hmm. about on the podcast early on that occurred back in 2018. Now Ellison is allegedly responsible for kidnapping, assaulting, and robbing the rapper for a bunch of jewelry, but his lawyer doesn't buy it. Now no robbery or kidnapping or assault happened. This is Devro Canick. He told the reporters outside of a courtroom, according to Complex, it did not happen. He had an event that made it look like a robbery or kidnapping. New court documents revealed that the incident was called in surveillance footage with Canik believes will ultimately work out in their favor during the trial. They're saying the car where the kidnapping allegedly occurred was wired by the government. He added, we believe that's going to be very helpful in the defense. Now, Canik claims that the whole incident was essentially staged in order to promote 6 ix album, which isn't unrealistic. After documents revealed that 6 9 put money on Ellison's head, Canik also said that it was just for show. He has the resources and apparently had access to individuals who would carry it out. You have to wonder whether or not it was real. <clears throat> okay, that was a mouthful, man. I wasn't expecting <laughs> to hear all that. Yeah. But I was at the same fucking yeah, time exactly. we talked about it. Because the dude, man, is just super fake, man. And we knew it. We knew it watching him. But it's just something. It's like you know it, but you don't know it. So it always leaves that, you know, um, possibility. Maybe this dude is really on some shit. But now I think it came out. You know, everything has to be questioned with this dude. A total gimmick, a fake, a fraud, a rat. 
nothing really else to say about this dude, man. But um, I wouldn't put it past him orchestrating something like that. We've seen rappers do that, you know, over the years. You know, fraud rappers, I should say, that do all types of gimmicks, beef, you know what I mean, to promote their album. Not that he really had to even do it, I don't think. I think he was hot enough, but mm -hmm. um, I definitely, you know, um, definitely not surprised by this, man. He I don't know to... how it's going to change anything, but yeah. Nah, who knows? But he had to keep the wave stronger, and we both said, is this fake? Is this phony? Mm -hmm. Is this a publicity stunt? We thought it from day one, from just Jump Street, that something seemed fishy about that situation, and given the way he was promoting himself, given the fact that he went out there in Chicago and, and made a debacle out there and was taped to do it for five seconds with all security in hell out there with him and just all the chaos that he was causing, but getting a buzz from it mm -hmm. just fell right in line with what he was doing. And he was playing a, a real dangerous game in his mind for real. And now he's caught up in it and telling on everybody that was involved for real. <laughs> it's it's crazy, man. Yeah. But it doesn't surprise us. Like I said, it was just crazy. Like you said, the confirmation. Yeah, yeah. For it to be all right now, we speculated that it was there, but not to confirm it and to see documents and just go, whoa, this shit was Hollywood, man. Now, how do you think this case is going to turn out? It's coming up, you know, faster, faster September's coming. So they're going to be at trial to Kai 6 9. How do you see this case turning out, Sam, man? Honestly. I don't know. I've been on record saying that he's going to do time. He's going to do a lot of time. There's no way he's getting off in there and have argued with you. Cause you yeah. said he wasn't and I've had to concede that early this summer. Cause I started getting the feeling, damn, he might get off. Yeah. And that's feelings getting stronger and stronger. And the more you hear it's just like probably time served. I mean, what he'll have how long in there? Maybe a year. I think November change. he might've went in December. Right. Maybe I don't even fucking Right. Know. Yeah. You know, probably, you know, we'll give him a year at, close to that at that time. You know, um, again, when you're, um, I think a CI confidential or confidential witness, something like that, CW, you know, um, Again, the lawyers are now going to be petitioning the prosecution like, yo, he gave us everything we needed. They took down a notorious blood street gang that, you know, went all the way to whatever. Because, you know, how, how, how this thing goes, obviously, he may go, you know, what I mean, who knows who he's going to tell on. But um, in exchange for that, they're going to show him a little leniency. Maybe let's say if he does, if they give him five, then he already got time served and maybe he gets some type of suspended sentence. You know what I mean? He gets out early, has to do like nine or eight more months parole, probation, something crazy like that is going to go down with this situation. He might get five, but still find a way to get out on the street very, very soon. Now you're still at a mindset. My bad to cut you off. No, you good. That he's going to have a career in music and people are going to rock not? with this you think, shit. You think, you think that this dude is going to totally just disappear if he comes out? Really? Do you think he just really going to just go into, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, witness protection? No. He gonna come out. He gonna make music again because that's his bread and butter, uh -huh. and he obviously his money is being spent on legal defenses and things like that. But why stop at this point? Why? Uh, uh, you talk about people talk about blackball. We hear a lot of people complaining about blackball. If y'all don't blackball that motherfucker, something ain't right. Who who's in the blackballing department that can make that move? Cause but who? Because it means shit. Title ain't gonna blackball him. Spotify iTunes, I don't think they're gonna black, you know, black bomb if he puts his music. He's an artist. Nah, He's gonna won't. make them money. So I mean, maybe he won't get the features that he got. I'm talking but about engineers. What the engineer community at? Money. What production. No, I know. It's all about money. Who got the money? How much money he got somewhere stashed? I mean, I ain't trying to count his pockets, but yeah. Most of that shit better be gone. Dude gonna hit the streets, man. I, I don't see him doing anything over five years. And again, you gotta account for the time that he has in. And then, like I said, it's all types of ways that you can go about getting out. You know what I mean? Early and things like that. So, uh, you know, we, we will definitely see. We yeah. will definitely see very, very soon. Next month. Yeah, yeah. And, then, you know, we'll be all over that here on the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast. So make sure you subscribe right now, man. Now, because we always got exclusives over here. And we always dropping content more than any other podcast, man. I think we dropped the most content, man. Definitely. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. It's not even a question. Right. Audio podcast, YouTube podcast right. segments. We got three platforms. That's not being cocky. That's being real. Right. And ultimately humble, man. We rock out. We put the work ethic in. Like you see any of your dynamic duos out here, the best thing about them is consistency. A lot of mm -hmm. partnerships that you see not work is because something, there's a chink in the armor somewhere. Mm -hmm. Like Gogai said early on in his podcast, one hand wash the other. If I got to pick him up, if you got to pick me up, we up to the challenge all day, every day. Yes, sir. And this is why we're the most consistent, most dangerous, most underrated, most disrespected podcast 
out here to date episode 211 we catching up on all your favorite podcasts as far as numbers man consistency yeah. doesn't lie yeah quality doesn't lie man and we're just humble to give it to you non-stop yeah, that bag it's time for the bag <laughs> y'all hear the music it's time for the